Hey guys, Gunjai Mori back here with another video. So right now I'm heading home from the Arctic. I was just out here quickly getting some polymer and oil. But yeah, once we get back, uh, we got the Krylophosaurus, the Dillo, and the Dilophosaurus last episode for our breeding farm. Or not our breeding farm, our egg farm. And I think we're going to work on that today and maybe even go tame some bees so that way we can make hunt. We have honey as well. We do have rare flowers growing now at the base, which... Should be actually pretty good, but yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I'm there. Alrighty, as you guys know from last episode, we were working on our uh, egg farm, and I was working on a lot of cementing paste at the time as well. So, if I go over to crafting here, we can make it, boys. We've been able to make it for a while, I just needed to go get the last two ingredients, which was oil and polymer. And I think we might have enough to make us a chemistry bench as well. So let's test this up. We might just need electronics and spark powder. I got the spark powder here. And that's ooh, not enough spark powder. I already know that, but... Oh, no, it is. I need electronics. Uh, unreliable, come here. Let's see if you got any uh, electronics on you. How do you not have electronics? Hold up. I saw a bunch of tech creatures around the corner. I'll be right back. So, I don't know why, but I had this brilliant idea to tame Troodons. And yeah, this thing is not friendly. Um, I'm half tempted to board up the windows down the door. We're boarding up the windows. <laughs> he's going for the dodos. Oh my god, look, like, he's legit. He's, cr he's like, clawing at them. Through the fucking wall. Okay. So, here we go. One way we can tame him up here is... Where is that egg? It's Krylophosaurus eggs. So if we take, say, three of these guys... Let's... Let's get them upstairs and hatch them. Do I have a cryopod on me? I do. So... What we're going to do is basically feed this dude baby Krylophosaurus is to tame. In which, I don't know how that's going to turn out. So, if I hit, oh, you, too hot. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I know why. This entire base is a fucking tinderbox. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. You too hot. Um, let me quickly fix something up here. Alrighty, it's the first guy Lapasaurus. Okay, watch this dude be the guy that we need as well. It's actually probably not a bad idea to check that. Uh, damage. Hold up. Before we do this, I'm actually gonna go check these guys. Make sure I don't wait. Are there twins? Oh no, his hair is just clipping through his body because he's small. But yeah, I'm going to just go check this dude to make sure and see if his stats are similar to his parents. And I'll get back to you once I once I have one to feed if it's not. Okay, so this one's legit just an exact copy of its mother. I am not going to lie, it legit is. So, the way you tame a Troodon is you throw your tames in there. So... Hopefully he'll target him soon. Do I have to get in the pen with it? I know one thing as well. Behavior. Uh, Nobody move. Uh, attack your target. Neutral. You're neutral. Hey. What's your health at? You have 400 health. I want the Troodon to be able to just eat you. Hey. No, no. Eat the baby. Eat the baby. Eat the baby. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pass it, pass it, pass it. What the fuck, guys? I've been telling you guys pass it your whole lives. I'm not fucking lying. I've sat here and whistled passive. At all these fuckers every day and every time like nope we're not passive 
I knew for a damn... I even went and set the Krylophosaurus is here to passive before. I manually set them to passive to make sure. I just don't know how to get him to eat the eggs. He's eating it. He's eating it. Oh, he ate it. What did that do? Okay, hold up. Let's see if that gave it any... Uh... No, how... What? I... Okay, hold up. I know what it is. I whistle passived. That's why. That's why. He went to passive after I whistled. Okay, you're not the one I'm looking for. Where? Are... What the fuck? Uh, didn't I just have a baby Krylophosaurus here like not three seconds ago? You, you're too close to that damn wall. Move. I legit just had a baby Krylophosaurus here. Where'd it go? Dude, there you are. <laughs> Hate to send you in like this. Behavior neutral. This is actually, like, really scary. This dude could attack me at any second and kill me. No. No, why? Why? You're... There's... Behavior. Enable wandering. Look, he's legit. They won't even hold still. It's the fucking... Oh my god. Disable wandering. I disabled wandering on you. Why are you still fucking moving? Legit, watch. It's just gonna start moving again. You get pissed off at me, please. I don't want to have to hit you. If I do, I'm going to hit you with the club, though. I 
I'm, it's gonna make me hit it. Just so that way it will fucking... Eat stuff. I don't know. I figured it out, guys. He's eating the baby. Got him to finally start eating it. Okay. I need... You? Alrighty. So now we got that male tamed up here. Yeah, let's see what your stats turned out as. Not a bad melee. I wouldn't say bad on stamina either. We could definitely get a lot better on health. So, let's go get you out of here. And go see if we can get a good female. We got a perfect 100 on him thanks to the Krylophosaurus, which was awesome. So, that 120 became a 180. Worked out really good. Wait, what? Oh, you're still following me. There we go. His eyes are already glowing, too. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get him named up, and then I'm gonna go grab the female. Okay, so we got the next Troodon. After several, uh, breakouts of it. This one, uh, does not want to stay in the pen. At, like, absolutely at all it it is it is a uh, yeah it is a menace it is a monster i don't it yeah I'm trying to get it to aggro on me here i might actually have to hop in with it though to aggro it's just becoming daytime i hope it As you can see here, it's not like trying to flee me. That's the nice thing. If they get into a state where they seem like they're trying to flee you, they won't stop for some reason, especially once you have them tamed. Oh, like, I had, I've even relogged when I thought they were fleeing me, but it, yeah. But so, what I've learned is if you feed them four Krylophosauruses, it turns out pretty decent. So, let's double check you for your stats. should only take four. If it takes more than that, I do got some Perturdons to give it. Alright, now the tricky part. I need him to get pissed at me. I need her to get pissed at me. Basically, I need him to just, like, start attacking a wall like the other one was. You know? You know what? Like, why won't he... They won't attack the Krylophosaurus. I don't know why. Thank you. He ate one. 
That's what we needed. I need him to get like pissed out a wall again. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. If I say throw a dodo. Are you guys like. I can't even pick you guys up. If, oh, he's actually in a good spot. I can get him several babies down real quick. So, boom, boom, boom. You guys are stats, you're just getting tossed in. He hit him through the window. I'm not gonna lie, no, he like full on launched him through the window with a hit. I'm not I'm impressed. This one can just get tamed. Last one is down the stairs. How far in do you get launched? Got to. Come on, you two. That's one of them. Please kill before he starts starving. Because once he starts starving, he also starts fleeing. Which is a bad thing. Thank you. He's eating the other one. He's going to get tamed here. She. She's going to get tamed here. She's going to get 58 level or 54 levels. What? Wait, no, what? I, uh... Shit. You have a mutation. I don't care. You're getting fed to it. I'm sorry, you little one. It's what I it's what I have to do just to get him some uh, food. So he doesn't starve to death. He has a health mutation. Just one Krylophosaurus egg. That's all I need. Please be have one ready. Please have one ready. Thank you. All we have ready is one. It's legit just feeding itself to the Krylophos- er, the Krylophosaurus is legit just feeding itself to the Troodon. Oh my god. I didn't even have to lead it or anything. I'm also thinking because the Krylophosaurus is from Ark Editions, the Troodon might not just naturally attack it. 
which could be a thing. Come on, just eat it. How much fucking health does that Krylophosaurus have? That is an honest question. It's almost dead. There we go. Thank you. Plus 81 levels. Did it get 81 levels? No, it only got 54. Why is it saying 81? Okay, that's the Troodons. Uh, I don't know what we're going to tame next. I think it's either going to be fairies or... Therizinas are going to be pretty... I don't know. I can't I can't risk Therizinas near the base. Or I don't want to. Once I figure out what I go for next, you guys will know. So, alrighty guys. So, I haven't gone out to go tame like any fairies or anything. But I have been working on the hatcher. Or, well, the egg farm. Really. So I got the building up. Um, I accidentally forgot to record where I built the foundation and extended the bridge. Or well, what I did was I accidentally flip flopped it where where I thought my recording was paused, it wasn't, and all that. So yeah, yay! But anyways, we got the wall. We got these corner walls up so far. I might put pillars in between here just to you know kind of fill in that gap. I did put some of these dynamic pillars though on the bottom edges to make it look like it's kind of holding them up so yeah got this big old stone doorway as well but i'm going to keep working on this and i'll get back to you guys once i have a little bit more progress Alrighty, guys so we are back here with a quick little update check-in so as you can see there i got the breeding farm going but most importantly i'm starting to breed up the creatures here to start filling it so i got two females out here that are going to let be just fully grown and uh all that. Wait, what? <laughs> Maturation. I thought that said mutations for a second, but yeah. But I got a nanny here to help take care of them. They are getting imprint on them. Which, yeah. But I also got my first perfect. This is the first perfect one we've gotten. It has all the stats I want from the parents with it. So, yeah. And it is the female. So if we get close here, as you can see. That is really nice color. I don't like how the fur, the fur does, the coat does uh, sag in when they're little, but yeah. But I just want to let you guys know that. Okay, so I've just like spent the night like massacring things that we don't need. And I wake up and the sky is red. <laughs> or I come outside and the sky is red. It must be a heat wave soon, but yeah. Uh, yeah, here's what I, uh, progress I've gotten on the, the farm, which is nothing. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I'm trying to get the creatures in here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get the fairies and utahs up on that second level there, you know? But I think I'm going to have to go get a fairy and a utah to figure that out. But yeah. I'm thinking about putting maybe a cooking pot and all that back here and storage for the stuff to make kibbles and just make the kibble in here as well. But I haven't decided that yet, but yeah. We've also, if I come over this way, got our first pterodon. Another female. She has all the stats we want from the parents, just like this one. So, yeah. I'm just letting them farm up some eggs real quick so I can start breeding on them again, but yeah. Just wanted to just let you guys know. Alrighty, guys. So, as you guys can see here, we got the taming pen. Or not the taming pen, the egg farm. And we got some creatures moved in. Again, all these additional Troodons, Krylophosaurus, and Dimorphs, we got through breeding. Okay. And as you can see here, we're already starting to produce some eggs. I have not uh, done the Dillos yet. I've not hatched up their eggs. Uh, I got the breeding pair of the dimorphs here as well, and in my new cryo fridge, we got these guys. We got the pteranodons, and again here, you are seeing a level gap, but from what I understand, as long as the ones that we're looking for the mutations in are good, which are the ones that, like, the health, the stamina, weight, and damage, it's probably what we're going to look for mutations in, so as long as those are the same, we're good. 
And same with the Troodons. But the Troodons is only a, lo uh, a one level gap. So. But there is a difference though with these guys. Because they are exactly the same. In which. Yeah. I don't know how. I think we just got really really lucky. Because I it was a hard time. Trying to get these guys. Like I mean it. Like this is day two. Of like real life playing this for this video. It's almost day three, actually. You can tell I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, just wanted to let you guys see in. I'm probably gonna breed up the dime, uh, the dillos here. So yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I got the Dilophosaurus has moved in now, and I also did get the breeding pair. So yeah. Um, and you know what? <clears throat> We're almost done with the egg farm. I was hoping I would have time to get the Therizinos and you ties, but this has been going on for a while now, so I would like to take a break. So, you guys know the drill. If you guys want to see more ARC, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, we do got a bunch of creatures that need names. Please leave names in the description for them. And remember to mention which creature. Remember, none of these breeding creatures are getting names. And, uh, yeah, this has been Gunshai Mori signing off. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's...